Well, welcome back everybody to our online program on addiction and recovery and we've been talking about wellness. This idea that's come from the uh, certain experts on how to live an optimal life and beyond merely being free of disease or problems like that. Because a lot of people now think that a wellness program may be the solution to recovery. So we're just uh, talking about things like that. And one of the curious things about all these wellness programs is that uh, they they say, well, look at look at the various dimensions in your life, the various areas of your life, like your emotional health, your physical health, your spiritual health, all that. And then they give and then they give recommendations, such as typical things would be, you know, develop healthy coping skills if you have depression or something like that. Um, uh, eat right, eat according to the Canada Food Guide or the American Food Guide, exercise, all, all these kinds of issues. But it's curious that the one thing they really don't pay too much attention to is self-awareness. And this really is a key piece. In fact, research suggests that really knowing yourself well, for real, you know, blow the smoke off it and look at yourself for real. This, in fact, may be the best protection that you'll ever have when life throws you for a loop. Yeah. And here's the reason. If you know yourself really well, then you're more able to manage your life. So, for example, uh, the great psychiatrist Viktor Frankl said that each of us has these remarkable uh capacities inside us and what we have to do as human beings is to dig deep down and develop them so if we're faced with uh, adversity that Frankel says inside us we have a great deal of courage and endurance and perseverance and we we have all these things but what we have to do is is get them and develop them so that we can we can face adversity and if you can face adversity if you have this resilience you're getting much better able to manage your life if you can manage your life you really won't fall victim to anything outside of you right? even even terrible things that happen we have for example the uh, the examples of Christopher Reeve the actor who broke his uh, back right and he learned about himself very well. And so by learning about himself, he was able to overcome that adversity, right? things like that. And it's all to do with self-awareness. That's why it's, it's curious that there's not more energy put into self-awareness. The energy in the wellness program seems to be, you know, practice mindful meditation to relax and uh, make sure you go on a vacation or you know, get a massage, things like that. But really, the, the, the key piece may in fact be having a very accurate self-awareness of who you are, your strengths, your values, your limitations, your desires, your wants. And one other interesting issue is that, according to the research, is that if you have a good self-awareness, you're more able to practice acceptance, uh, humility, gratitude, forgiveness, and these, these uh, behaviors that uh, research has shown to uh, really improve wellness. Anyway, that's it for this episode, and we'll be back uh, next time with our final episode on wellness and recovery.